located in the south of Taiwan, is the home to Taiwanese history and numerous monuments. Located in this ancient capital, National Zhenggong University is one of the most prestigious universities in Taiwan. It provides great academic atmosphere and boundless resource for education and living. Without doubt, NCKU is the best choice for Mandarin learning in Taiwan. I participated in the Tuesday 2012 program at NCKU, which is also hosting the Tuesday 2013 program, which is funded by the Taiwan Ministry of Education, which covers the expenses of tuition and dormitory fees. The program lasts two months and starts in early July and ends in late August. You will need to provide your own airfare and about $600 U.S. for personal living expenses. The purpose of the Tuesday Ambassador Summer Scholarship Program is to encourage educational cooperation between Taiwan and the USA to train Chinese language talents and increase the friendship between the two countries through cultural exchange. Tusa students participated every day in language classes for three hours. In addition, Tusa students took classes such as Chinese painting and calligraphy that introduced Chinese culture and were also given the opportunity to experience this firsthand through various cultural excursions. Tusa students were partnered together with local university students in order to help ease their transition to daily life in Taiwan and give students a chance to practice their Chinese language ability outside the classroom. Tusa students were given the options of experience life in a Taiwanese household by staying with a Taiwanese host family and teaching English by volunteering at local schools. National Chang'an University's Chinese Language Center really helped me to improve my Chinese language ability. My professors were very kind and friendly and really cared about my progress in Chinese. The Chinese Language Center is a very ideal place for improving your Chinese. NCKU Chinese Language Center is located at the Shouqi Building of the College of Liberal Arts at the Guangfu Campus. Established in 1982, we have been at the forefront of Mandarin language education in Taiwan for almost three decades. Each year, more than 1,000 students from 50 countries choose to study Mandarin here. We boast the highest number of full-time certified teachers in Taiwan. We offer professional, experienced teaching faculty and excellent curriculum for Mandarin learners from all over the world. We set high standards for our teachers and they are constantly encouraged to research new methods of teaching, adapt them, and develop them to meet students' needs. Our teachers not only teach Mandarin, but also care for students and enthusiastically assist them when they are in need, especially in a whole new environment. My name is Nathan Paul. I am a student from the University of Minnesota Duluth and I studied Chinese for one year before going to Taiwan. Upon arriving in Taiwan, I found that it was quite difficult to communicate with the Taiwanese. Under the program, I at least was somewhat proficient in the language. The teachers helped me deal with specifically with two issues I was having, pronunciation and the use of tones. Furthermore, the program helped me understand Chinese culture in a way that was not possible in the U.S. They gave me hands-on experience in things such as Chinese uh, painting, calligraphy, Tai Chi, and also experiencing Chinese opera. All of these were phenomenal experiences. Ariel Korn, a 2012 TUSA scholar. I think that the cultural excursions were definitely amongst the highlights of our entire two months in Taiwan. We went to ancient temples and we saw museums and we went to the hot springs and we even had the opportunity to um, travel from Tainan to Taipei where we saw Taipei Ilingi or Taipei 101. So what was so cool about these cultural excursions is that while we were exploring Taiwanese culture, we were afforded this really interesting window into both ancient and modern Taiwanese culture. My name is Diana Marie Linton, 
I am a recent graduate of Yale University, and I was fortunate enough to take part in the Taiwan United States Sister Alliance (TUSA) during the summer of 2012. We enjoyed wonderful experiences as part of the TUSA program. One of such many experiences was our opportunity to take part in a homestay. Even though I entered the TUSA program without any knowledge of Mandarin Chinese, both of my host families welcomed me into their homes and treated me with warmth and kindness. I hope that those of you considering the TUSA program will also take the opportunity to learn about Taiwan and the Taiwanese people directly by staying with the host family during your studies in Taiwan. At the end of the TUSA Ambassador Summer Scholarship Program. We had a closing performance and farewell banquet to celebrate the end of our language and cultural classes. It gave us a chance to show off what we had learned and share it with all our new friends and mentors. It was a ceremony where we were given our certificates and spent one last night together, eating, dancing, and laughing. The language partners even performed using the English they had picked up. And saying goodbye. The performances not only showed what the Tusa students had learned in our two months. But also reflected the cultural exchange and the friendship from our trip.